What's happening? Rise Up 44 here on Nelio Gaming. We're checking out Super Daryl Deluxe on the PlayStation 4. Let's jump right in. The jig is up, Detective Daryl. We got your woman. We got your textbooks. It's all over for you. Not so fast, trench coat. If that is your real name, you're under arrest for breaking the law. It's your jig that's about to be up. We'll all see whose jig is up when you're busy dying. Oh my god. You won't get away with this. Detective Daryl is a big, strong man who isn't afraid of thugs like you. Keep it up and you'll be joining Detective Allen. See you in hell, Detective Daryl. Looks like my jig is just about toast, buddy. I really thought we had him this time. Ah. Huh. No use standing around watching me bleed out in this cold, dark alleyway. Go get your woman back. Just promise me you'll tell mine that I won't be home for Chicken Wing Wednesday. Urgh. Okay. Alright, move, Doc. Wow, he really gets down. Uh, X is jump. Skills R1. Circle. Triangle. Okay. L2, hold the sprint. L2, tap is a dash. It's on a recharge. Pretty cool. Have cooldowns, chain skills together to attack efficiently. Okay. Pretty dark. Hey, uh, best buddy. Uh oh. How are you doing? No need to be so gray. Don't you worry about what happened to Detective Allen. You were always my favorite. I know, how about some textbooks to get your mind off of it? Okay, L L2 is the dash. His skill set's kind of hard to use. Like, there's no melee, it's just kick. And it takes kind of a while to recharge.
Uh oh, buddy. Here comes more of them. Don't worry. How about some more text textbooks? Is that what he said? It's kind of hard. There we go. I gotta throw some jumps in there. That's what I gotta do. I like that you get life coins when you take one of the guys down. Wait, don't leave yet. I was just about to promote you. How does Super Detective sound? It looked like I turned into someone else there for a second. What, what was that about? Did you guys see that? It looked like I turned into a guy with a suit on for a second, but how did I do that? How the heck? I don't know how I did that. You want your woman back, Detective Daryl? Well, she's mine until my jig is up. And right now, my jig is all the way up here. Come and get her, Detective Daryl. Chain skills at your locker. Oh shoot, I'm trying to have a drink and this guy's attacking me. See right there, it just happened again. I just saw a suit. What the heck did I do? I gotta pay attention when that happens again. I just saw it happen again. Daryl's locker and skills. All right, let's see. Oh, sweet, okay. We have different skills, good. Right, what else do we have? We have uh, Crick Retort. Quick, not Crick. Quick Retort. Daryl charges forward and strikes that first enemy he sees. Sliding by. Daryl slides forward and knocks any enemies he touches into the air. Increase skill rank for more distance. Ooh, I kind of like that. And then Daryl teleports harmlessly and instantaneously in the direction he he's facing. Hmm... I kind of like the melee though. The if I can have like a a, a punch melee, then this would work. Or like you know a, a weapon. So what do we got? We got fox uh, foe pal. Instantly toss all enemies around you into the air. We have combust combustible confutation chin two. Surrounded by things you despise. Use the art of fire to push them away. And burn them too, I guess. That's different. We also have Shocking Statements, Channel 2. Or is it Chapter 2? It might be Chapter. I don't know. CH2. Uh, launch an orb of electric murder out of your chest like a real man. Press again to detonate early if you are into that sort of thing. Alright, nothing says oh shit like an enemy about to be pummeled by a giant heavy thing on a stick. Daryl swings a sword around like a maniac in both directions. Definitely, definitely using that. Alright, so let's go with, uh... Let's go with... Oh, shoot. No, no, no. Here we go. Let's do this. Equip. Instead of the boomerang or instead of this yeah let's do that let's do that and then let's go with this instead of the kick and then hmm let's see um, instead of the kick let's go with Try this. Uh, let's try this fire burst. So that'll be R1, L2. It's a lot to remember. All right, R2, L1. All right, let's try this. Rank up with square. Sort skills. Okay. I think that's gonna do it. All right. So now we have. I don't 
like that. See, I, I don't like this at all. But it does, it seems to do a lot of damage. Oh, I want that on square. Okay, I want... No, no, come here, come here, come here, come here. Locker, come here. There we go. Okay, I want square to be my melee. There we go. And then... Sharpen the saw. Spin so quickly that you transform into a circular saw and damage all enemies around you. Oh, okay. I'm not just bursting through the air. I'm actually doing damage with that. Alright, let's go with that with circle then. So we have kick, melee, throw, and circular saw. Let's try something different for a triangle. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's try this now. And you can detonate it early too. And then we got the circular saw. We got our teleport. Our sword. And R1. That's much better. So much better. Yep, I like that combo so much better. Is floating in the air. What the hell? Textbooks. I still don't really feel confident about that circular saw, but. Maybe I'll replace the circular saw for the boomerang. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. I still have the circular saw. What did I just do? I screwed something up. I wanted... That's kind of cool. Doesn't really seem practical. I'm trying to figure out. I know I'm going to unlock other stuff too, but I'm just trying to figure out like what I like. Um, gonna work so much better okay i swear i'm going with this combo now like i'm done messing around it's time to kick some ass the door is locked oh, of course it's locked 
What do we gotta do to unlock it? The trench coat kid. Okay, that's what his name is. Too slow, detective. Maybe next time. If a yard jig lasts that long. Oh shoot. That was pretty cool. Oh shoot. It fell way down. Hey. What the hell? It's hurting me and it's a textbook. What what a weird game. take that down. I have a feeling it's going to give me something. Probably not, though. Keeps going higher and higher. Yeah, I got the warehouse key. Oh, dude, the textbook didn't give me shit. What the hell is that? Alright, so we got the key now. That's good. The hammer takes forever to land. No, I'm not going to go change it now, but still, I'm not happy with it. I'll leave it alone for now. Dude, I totally missed because it takes so damn long. right there I definitely turned into some like a different costume or something for like a split second it just happened again it goes when I throw my boomerang he turns into somebody else like not all the time but not all the time but he does sometimes Repository of Doom. This is where the jig ends, Detective Daryl. It's just you, me, your woman, all your books, and the empty room full of dynamite. Turn around, and I won't have to blow you and your book straight to the moon. But take another step, and the woman gets it. Don't listen to him, Daryl. He's serious. Jeez. No! Well, that takes care of Detective Daryl. You have to get up, Detective Daryl. Do it for me. Get up, Daryl. Do it for all of us. The power of friendship must overcome the power of evil. No, what's happening? The power of friendship is rejuvenating him. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Your jig isn't up just yet. This can't be. My plans are ruined. Oh, shoot. Detective Daryl, you're alive. You did it, pal. Now solve this case like the detective you are. <laughs> He had big muscles for a second. This is how it is, huh? I should have known that the mighty Detective Daryl couldn't be stopped by mere bullets alone. A round of old-fashioned fisticuffs, it is. I don't mind killing you in front of your woman a second time, but you better hurry because this place is about to blow sky high. Oh, dude, I had a rhino! I had a rhino on my... That was awesome. Dude, this is amazing. This game is so wacky. Dude, I love it. And I have different ninja stars all of a sudden. Oh, man. I don't have enough time.
Take that, trench coat. You can't beat Detective Daryl. I don't have to. This place is about to blow, destroying you and all your textbooks, and I ain't gonna stick around to watch it happen. Good luck getting your woman out in time, Detective Daryl. You did it, Detective Daryl. Quick, untie me before this building explodes. Good thing there was an error. You would have been blown up. Nice. You're my hero, Detective Daryl. <laughs> so big so and strong. How about we go back to my place and I'll make you a big batch of cookies? Jesus. Daryl? Are you listening to me? <laughs> Daryl? Oh, he's dreaming. Daryl! <laughs> he's daydreaming. Hey, have you heard a goddamn thing I've been telling you? Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, we'll start over. Quit daydreaming and pay attention this time, for Christ's sakes. It all started 40 years ago. That's hilarious. He was daydreaming. Pay attention this time. Brown's PlayStation trophy. 40 years ago. To proudly introduce the valedictorian and salutatorian for the Waterfalls graduating class of 1975. Both students have demonstrated unwavering dedication to their academics while astoundingly supporting successful leadership positions in every <coughs> club and sport on campus. Clubs and sports which have, under their guidance, claimed number one spots in every club and sport championship around the world. Clubs and sports that the President of the United States of America himself awarded the prestigious Most Admirable Clubs and Sports Award last spring, the first of its kind in the country. Their service and charity to the Waterfalls community is far-reaching and has lifted our modest town out of obscurity into the ranks of the great civilizations of antiquity. From single-handedly raising money to construct the town's first and only municipal airport for homeless dogs and cats, to successfully converting the Tri-County area into the world's first peaceful, ethical, and prosperous communist local government. Surely, one can only dream of the wonders these boys have in store for the galaxy and beyond. Without further ado, I invite to the podium the valedictorian Eli Bavarius and the salutatorian Kent Hangerman to move us all once again with some words of wisdom. Uh, please, boys, let's hear what you have to say on this joyous occasion. Thank you, Principal Buttersworth. Gosh, it certainly has been a crazy ride. And what an honor. But let's not fool ourselves. Kent and I couldn't have done it all without the help of our school and the wonderful community. All our hard work means nothing without you. Please give yourselves a hand. Ah, <sighs> what a wonderful way to end this chapter of our lives. Sitting here atop this hill, basking in all we've done today and all we've yet to do tomorrow. I think we can really change the world, Eli. Think how far this momentum can take us. It's a new chapter, Kent, especially with every top college on earth begging for our attendance. You know, I was serious about what I said at graduation. Which part? The part about not being able to do all we've done without the help of our community. If we hadn't shown our town the ways of love, tolerance, and cooperation, we'd have never cured seasonal allergies or resuscitated that frozen mammoth. I know we can reach whomever we wish to reach. <laughs> seasonal allergies. Hmm. Well, there's a surprise. Well, hold on. It's crazy. See, I've been researching world peace lately, and my findings suggest that the most peaceful periods on Earth have occurred around the release of best-selling self-help books. 
We've already proven we can help people help themselves locally. Just imagine what we could achieve if we employed the Paramount tool for reaching the masses. Self-help, huh? What a novel idea. A book that helps people help each other through helping themselves. Our writings could usher in the next golden age. Brilliant. Ah, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. We have to visualize our goals as small steps. You know, like a staircase. Yeah, our staircase to success will ensure our dreams come true. Gosh, you know, Kent, with our heads together, I've no doubt that our climb to the top of those stairs will be as smooth as an escalator. A smooth, gliding escalator. They got big dreams. Super Daryl Deluxe. I like it. I like it so far. <laughs> Look at the school now. One week ago. 40 years have passed. Pleasure to meet you, Daryl Whitelaw. My name is Mr. Roboto, and I am the vice principal here. As you know, Waterfalls High School is the finest school in the state. We pride ourselves on the beauty and safety that our campus offers. This institution boasts a vast network of friendly, helpful students for you to use at your disposal. If you ever need help, do not be afraid to reach out to any of your peers or faculty. Of course, academics are our number one priority. There's nothing we care about more than the success of our students. To ensure your success, we have designed the perfect habitat for adolescents to learn and pupate into upstanding citizens. Just make sure you have a hall pass. Now that we are friends, here is your class schedule. What do you think of your classes? Yes, Daryl, that schedule will be your guide to success here at Waterfalls. You're going to do just fine. Classes are about to begin soon. If you would follow me, I will show you to your very own personal storage unit. He's got nothing but study hall and gym. This locker is yours. You will be accessing it frequently throughout the day. It is in it is a very important part of your high school experience. Oh look, there are some new friends now. Paul, Alan, this is Daryl. Daryl, this is Paul and Alan. See? It's easy to make friends. Have fun. I love his bell bottoms. Uh, who are you? Okay, bye. Oh god, he got closer. What do you want? What's wrong with him? Probably the same thing that's wrong with every every other knuckle dragger in this school. Who cares? Don't change the subject. Think, where could you have lost it? What about the quad? What about the quad? What the We were just there. You probably dropped it like you drop everything else. Oh please. I'll have you know I've never dropped a thing in my life. Shut up. What are you what are we supposed to do? It's probably blown into the far side by now, and I'm sure as shit not going out there. Balto's in detention, so he's as useless as always, and who the hell even knows where Tony is? Yeah, yeah, I know. Look, I'm trying to think, but I just can't concentrate with that weird kid staring at us like that. It's freaking me out. Hi there, you must be new. My name's Paul, and this is Alan. It's a pleasure meeting you, and or whatever, but we're pretty busy at the moment. Tell you what, though. Alan here dropped an important piece of paper in the quad earlier. If you go back, if you go get it back for us, I'll let you stand here and breathe out air. <laughs> breathe our air some more. Yep, we'll be your best friends, and we could use some flowers, too. So while you're there, don't forget to pick us, pick some for us. Friends love flowers. Flowers? What do we... 
Oh, right. Yeah, we do need flowers, don't we? We sure do. So, uh, our piece of paper and some flowers in return for our friendship. Oh, and don't wander into the far side, the quad. The principal is the far side of the quad. The principal is really strict about that. Got it? Why am I having such a hard time reading? Great. You can get to the quad from the main lobby. Off you go. All right. Daryl's new friends. Where's our piece of paper? Maybe you don't want to be friends. Whatever you do, don't go to the far side of the quad. Of course, if you want to have an unpleasant meeting with death, go right ahead. Tim's locker. It's locked. The door is locked. Jesse. I haven't seen you around before. You must be new. My name is Jesse. Welcome to Waterfalls. I gotta say, you picked a great time to transfer. There haven't been any classes here for three weeks. It's too bad no one really comes to school anymore. Are you foreign or something? Dude, I can't remember where my locker is. Hi, I'm Abby. It's nice to meet you. I love the whole headband thing you've got going on. But hey, uh, I couldn't help but hear you talking to Paul and Alan. I'd hate to, you know, tell you what to do, but they pretty much suck. I'd switch lockers if I were you. Half of them are empty now anyway. North Hall. <laughs> the mirror says you look good. <laughs> Wash yo hands. Quick save. Manual save. <laughs> Rob what, Rob Roboto is a robot? <laughs> no shit. <laughs> it, fl it flushes the toilet to quick save. That's great. Wash your hands. Oh, Jesus. You just squished the... Man. Lost. Horseshoe crab. What would... Ayn... Ayn Rand do? <laughs> what a weird game. Sats. The hell is... Oh, Sats. <laughs> I'm such an idiot sometimes. <laughs> Sats, it's SATs, like <laughs> the big test you take, SATs. Sats, Jesus, I don't know what's wrong with me. Try to be healthy. Prom, salad themed. <laughs> salad themed prom. Sounds great. All right, we got East Hall, main office. Longing for adventure? Join a D and D. <laughs> oh man! All right, we can go outside there. That's probably the quad. Is that the quad? It doesn't say. It says question mark. Becca. It's strange seeing the school so empty. You're new, right? Did you happen to catch a glimpse, glimpse of the principal's face? As far as I know, no one around here has actually seen him in person yet. Maybe that will change this Friday. I imagine he would give a speech or something. I'd like to know his name, at least. Didn't I just meet the principal? Grar. Is this an actual bear, or is he in a costume? Alright, so the quad must be this way. Alright. Hey, the bird just took the paper. 
This monument is dedicated to Eli Bravarius, Kent Hangerman, whose boundless brilliance and generosity led us all to world peace, and to Water Falls High School, the institution that allowed the, their greatness to blossom. There's cameras everywhere. Sidewalk closed. Yeah, I know I'm not supposed to be out here. What with the new administration coming in and the new principal banning anyone being on this side of the quad, I don't feel the consequences, though. Yep. With all these other kids disappearing left and right, I almost feel jealous of them. I'm thinking at some point here, I'll just up and disappear myself. Run away from it all. Maybe camp out in, the, in a desert and listen to coyotes. Eating beans and barbecue. That's the life. Sounds good, dude. Go for it. Hi there, friend. If you promise not to tear me out of the ground by my roots, I'll teach you how to jump. Press X. Ah, getting a little close there. You promised. Yeah, I definitely broke a promise. You just hold X, you kind of bounce. I heard a Johnny screaming down there. I think somebody is picking us. Please, jump over here and protect me. Hold L2 to sprint. You can jump farther that way. Combo is 539. Tim's locker. Squirrel boy. Ah! Gee, God, no. Did you lose your nuts too? <laughs> what good is a quad if you can't store your nuts? Why is everything floaty and chunky? It, was, it wasn't like this last spring. My nuts must have fallen down to China by now. Ah, I can't go to China. I don't even have a passport. Squeak. This game is so freaking strange, dude. What the hell is going on? Oh, another dandelion. Is is that dirt under your fingernails? <laughs> it's all scared. <laughs> Alright. We got the paper. Hey, how did I get the paper? All I got was the lock combination. The paper, uh, the bird came and got it and flew away with it. the heck what do I do okay do we just go back now So, East Hall. Alright, here we go. Miranda's combo too? What can I say? I'm having a bad day. This is a lot more than just a bad day. 
Well, it looks like our bad day is about to get a lot worse because that kid is back. Sorry. Look, unless you have our stuff, oh, you, oh, you do have our stuff. Ha, huh. are those dandelions? That's great. You're like our own handy dandy little flower boy. Rank one, flower boy. Pass, passive unlock. You have friends. See, I knew he'd come back. Hey, buddy, while you were gone, Mr. Roboto stopped by. I guess some uh, dork named Daryl left his notebook in the main office. I don't know who Daryl is, and I don't really care. So how does a brand new notebook sound, eh? Friends give each other gifts, you know. You obtain Daryl's notebook. Fair enough. Speaking of gifts, I bet you're curious about what's so important about that paper. It's our friend Tim's locker combination. We took it so we could give him fun gifts all the time. That's what friends do. And those flowers, you ask? Those flowers are exactly what Tim needs to spruce up his locker. Friends love flowers. Now go ahead and put those flowers in Tim's locker for him. It's over there. I guarantee Tim's allergic or something. Just keep that locker combination in your notebook. I'm sure Tim will want more flowers later on. Come back when you're done. We have more jobs for you to do so you can earn our friendship. Press the touchpad button to open Daryl's notebook. Me, he's all jacked up. Tim, 087. You have to, got to be kidding me. You must be the worst dwarves and druids player I've ever seen, wandering around without a clue. You're completely oblivious of the number one rule. Keep your quests organized. Do you even know what you're supposed to be doing right now? If you ever care about D&D, you'd know to check your quest page to find out your current story quest. If you weren't a complete slob, you might know to keep track of all your side quests, too. All the information you could possibly need to complete your quest is right there in your quest page. Do you even realize you can add quests to your quest helper to keep updated on quests? You literally only have to check a box. Pfft. You probably can't even figure out how to use a pencil. I bet you haven't even kept a journal of all your quests so far, like, unskilled mor like the unskilled moron that you are. Keep uh, keep out your quest page now. Keep out. I'm sorry. Check out your quest page now. And while you're at it, open your journal and start keeping track of everything you've done. It's people like you that make D&D so frustrating to play. Nobody knows what they're doing. Learning about your journal. View the quest page and journal in your notebook. Hmm. <clears throat> Current quest, available quests, complete the story quest, complete the side quest. Okay, cool. <clears throat> okay. Feeling a little better? Just try to remember how important your quest page is. If you forget what quest you're doing, just give it a quick peek. Maybe one day you'll be as organized as me. Psst. Yeah, right. Shoot, what was it again? 087. I'm terrible. Zero. Eight. Oh, it tells me. You put the dandelions in Tim's locker. Some lunch money. Ooh, I got five bucks. You just steal his lunch money? Jesus. That's so messed up. You know what, maybe I should put it back.
Oh, you can't put it back once you take it. All right, whatever. I got five bucks now. Organization is power. Hey, who are you? Hey there, handsome. You look like you, you know how to interact with others. In Dwarves and Druids, players need to work together to get things done, of course. That goes hand in hand with the number one rule, getting the best skills. In D&D, we can have up to four skills equipped at a time. There, there are lots of different types of skills we can choose from, and they can all be enhanced after you gained enough experience. My favorite skill is hat summoning. With a flick of my wand, I can summon any hat I want. They really mean though. And sometimes they're a bit harder to wear without fighting first. You look like the sort of guy that already knows the skill. Let me summon a mean hat for you to try it out. Don't worry about getting a little sweaty. Tee hee. What the heck? Go on. Beat up th that hat next to me. Don't you want to impress me? Wink. I already met you, Abby. I don't have any... Shoot. I don't have any combos right now. I don't have any way to melee him or do anything. Oh, well. We'll come back, I guess. Tim didn't see you, right? Don't think too much about forcefully entering someone's locker. See, we surprise Tim with flowers all the time, and he absolutely loves it. Friends love flowers. But hey, maybe you're right. Maybe it's an invasion of personal space. However, I like to think of it as a service. So what if we take something every once in a while, removing unnecessary clutter from our customers' lockers? improves their lives dramatically. How else will they have enough room to store our products? It's business 101, Dylan. And business is what we're all about. You're standing in the presence of Waterfalls High School's two newest entrepreneurs. Say hello to Paul and Alan of Paul and Alan's textbook Emporium. And guess what? We're prepared to offer you a job as our new product manager. Congratulations. Just say nothing if you want to accept. Excellent. We got a real go-getter here, Paul. We can't pay you per se, but we couldn't help but notice how repulsive you are to be around. And I mean that in the best way possible. In lieu of money, we are offering you this miraculous book that we found in the main office. If it's good enough for the principal, it's good enough for you. Now, mind you, kids who get caught sneaking in there tend to disappear, so you should appreciate that we got this for you. Interacting with others. As a good businessman, we went ahead and ripped out all the pages for you. If you want the good stuff, you'll have to help us nurture our young, fragile business. As a signing bonus, we'll give you the first page for free. How does that sound? You learned a new skill. Discuss differences. As product manager, your job will be to secure as much product as possible. Textbooks are a really hot commodity at WF, WF it, blah, 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 at WFHS. But the trench coat kid and his goons have the market completely locked down. Seriously, there's like a hundred of those bastards, but there's no way they've cleaned out the old classroom. So that's where you should start. You get us some textbooks. We'll give you pages to that book we gave you, and you'll make a ton of friends. You'll be the Fonz in no time. I. Oh, hey. Ha, ha. Yeah, we like to have fun around here. Well, give him the key, Alan. The janitor's key? You had it last. Whoa. No, I didn't. You're the one in charge of keys. Oh, please. I'll have you know I've never owned a key in my life. <laughs> God damn it. How the hell is our new product manager supposed to manage our product 
if he can't get into the old classrooms. We could start by looking in your locker for it, since you're the last one that lost it. Fine, you're not going to find it in there. All right, Dylan, why don't you go find something else to do while we find your next task? I don't know, meet the other students or something? Oh, and by the way, don't carry that self-help book around with you. It's the school's only copy, and if they find out you stole it and rip the pages out of it, they'll probably send you to jail. Do you know what happens in a jail to kids like you? I'd suggest carrying only a few pages with you at a, at a time and leaving the rest in your locker. That's called plausible deniability. There's your business lesson for the day. Now get, now get out of here. Get out of here. Darren's locker and skill shop. Okay. Oh, we do have a fist. Sweet. Okay. Skill shop. For sale. Blinding logic. Daryl removes his glasses, stunning enemies in front of him. Hmm. Level required three, so I'm not quite there yet. Okay, here we go. The way you destroyed that Fez was so manly. Now that you're all sweaty and have some SXP, that means skill experience. Why don't you use your locker and try ranking up your skill, wink? Still? Nothing. Still have nothing. Hmm. Nope. I have nothing. Jesus, dude. There are other students around here for you to bother. Why don't you go meet some of them? Because I already did the hell man organization is power Tim's locker science Jesse Chelsea Blurso we'll find it all all right, go talk to someone else. Oh boy. I wish you could just opt out of some of these conversations. Oh, hey. What the heck? That looks like the dude from Dragon Ball. Saving instructor. You there, wanderer. You look like someone who seeks out excitement and lives life in the danger zone. I know my kind when I see it. Dangerous souls like us must stick together. And we sure as heck need to obey the number one rule of dwarves and druids. Always save. I bet you're wetting yourself with excitement right now. I know I am. Talk to me when you're ready to hear the secrets of saving progress, Wanderer. Alright, so here's what you do. Every time you find yourself in a dangerous spot and nature calls, just find the nearest bathroom and head to that stall over there to update all your progress and stats in your Dwarves and Druids handbook. If you lose, a li if you lose all your health, the game master makes you start over from the last save. It's super lame, so I make sure to save all the time. Listen to me, and you'll never quit the game in a blind rage again. Happy saving, Wanderer. Man.
Door is locked. Main lobby again. Okay, we got a new person. Greetings, fellow role player. Wait a sec. I don't think I've seen you around here before. Do you play dwarves and druids, right? Wait, I'm sorry. You do play dwarves and druids, right? I'm a level 5 summoner. By the look of you, I'd guess you're a level 1 flower boy. In D&D, we level up based on experience. But we also have social ranks. They are independent of each other, but they are both important. No one will be your friend if you don't have an impressive social rank. You know, that's why I have a ton of friends. And of course, you need popularity points to rank up. Ranking up is the, the number one rule. Since you're new, I'll give you a bit of help. Just talk to me again when you're ready to learn more about popularity points, alright? I'm glad you're so excited about popularity points. I aim to have the best rank in this realm someday. I do as many quests as I can for the common folk to gain as many popularity points as possible. Because when you rank up, you unlock new passive abilities. Dun dun dun. Good things come to those with a good with a good social rank. You're on your way, flower boy. Thank you. Grar. All right, I already talked to all these people. Hmm. All right, so we have another new person. Hark, mysterious traveler, where are all of thy weapons? Durst thou... <clears throat> durst, th durst thou not know anything about dwarves and druids? Let me try that over. Hark, mysterious traveler, where are... All thy weapons. Durst thou know anything about dwarves and druids? Or perhaps thou is not like familiar with the number one rule. It's dangerous to go that go by yourself. I'm like surprised that thou survived as long as you have. You obviously need a seasoned instructor to teach you about your arsenal of weapons. In D and D, we ha we all have like a page in our mighty notebook that represents our inventory. It holds a bunch of information about our equipment, stats, and items. There are four types of equipment in D&D. Weapons, hats, outfits, and uh, accessories. Our inventory has special tabs for each type. Just click through them to view your equipment. Each type of equipment does something different for your stats. Are thou confused? Well, very well. Let me put this in into terms that help me understand weapons are like water for a warrior soul they add strength and come in one hand or two hand variations thou must never carry fewer than 70 percent of weapons on your person at any time or risk insulting the god of weapons hats add health but thou can think of them as like Weapons for your head, for this is not far from the truth. Outfits are like weapons that you wear around your body. They add defense to protect you from other weapons. Finally, accessories are special weapons that do a whole bunch of things that normal weapons cannot do. The god of weapons allows us mere mortals to wear two accessories. Why dost thou not give it a try, young warrior? Equip this mighty weapon through your inventory and talk to me again once you've figured it out. Okay. 
Okay. All right, so definitely cool. Um, so strange, though. Let's see. Let's go back in. We're going to save real quick. Bathroom, bathroom. Oh, did I go down the wrong hall? Wait a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Fez has killed one out of two. Achieve rank two with discuss differences. To the main menu. Yes. All right, so that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Super Daryl Deluxe here on the PlayStation 4. I do appreciate you watching on Nalio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nalio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nalio Gaming. So definitely a strange game, but it's actually super fun. And I'm kind of digging the backstory. I can't wait to play more. I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section. That's going to do it for this gameplay. I'll see you in the next one.